Career students, let us see what is there in this question. A resistor designed for use in direct current circuit is labeled 50 watt to ohm. Okay, and he's talking about the resistor. The resistor is connected in series with an alternating current power supply of peak potential difference 10 volts. So this is the peak voltage they're talking about. It is not the RMS value, but we are generally working with RMS value. So generally RMS value is given, but anyways, let's see. What is the average power dissipated by the resistor in AC circuit? So we want to find the average power that is, that is dissipated here. So again, I would be using the current RMS value square into the resistor. So the resistor is already given here that it is 2 ohm resistance. And mind it that this power has nothing to do with the data. Um, like the resistor will be there and you cannot change the value of the resistor. Whether it is DC or whether it is AC, resistance will keep its value. So if the voltage was given generally 50 watt and let us say 10 volt, this kind of a rating is given. The resistance value is not given. In that kind of case, we find the resistance value by using the formula P is equal to V square by R. From there, we are actually supposed to find the value of the resistance. But ironically, in this question, this is not the case. They have already given the value of 2 ohm. So there is no confusion at all. The resistance value is already taken as 2. So this is known. We are knowing this. Only the thing is that we want to find the RMS value. So peak value, the peak value is given as 10. So instead of that, we can also find, um, we can use the other formula because the current is not given here. So we would be using E RMS square divided by R because resistance is known. So there is no problem of finding the current first of all in the circuit. So I'm going to use this formula. So ERMS um, will be, ERMS can be found by dividing the peak value by root 2. So that will be 10 divided by root 2 and we are squaring it and the resistance will be in the denominator. So the resistance is 2. This should be giving us the correct value. So it will become 100 divided by 2 into 2 that is 4 and thereby I get the value of 25 watt. So A should be the correct answer. My dear students, in this question, I must tell you one thing. The formula that we are using, like this formula or this formula, or for that sake, we can use this also. These formulas are valid only in the case when we are using only resistor in the alternating current circuit. Well, this is the only case that is in your syllabus. Thank God. And you are not using a capacitor or an inductor. Inductor is also a device. So you are not using these two devices across the alternating current source. That is why these formulas are valid. If you use a capacitor along with the resistor in the alternating current, these formulas are not usable. So be very careful about this, that in the alternating current, because in this question, it is very clear that there is only one resistor and there is alternating source. So in this case, fine, we can use any formula. But if there is a capacitor also connected there, at that time, things will become real messy. And so I think that thing even that should not be uh, coming into your exam because that's not the, that very easy. So <clears throat> I'm just telling you that piece of information for um, you must keep that information in your in your mind. That's it. So my dear students, the answer is A. Let us verify it from the mark scheme. And yes, you can see the answer is A. So this is how we do this question. So all the best, my dear students. Bye.